Hey guys, today we're going to be covering an awesome command which is great for mini games, PvP games, and just giving players equipment in general. Now, more advanced players will use replace item, but we're going to do that next episode. So let's start with the simple ones. This command here gives us stone, and as you can see, all you have to do is do forward slash give the nearest player, and then type in stone after that. So if you put a number next to it, it specifies how many, in this case, 64 stone. And if you put another ne number next to it, the damage value, which I've covered in another episode, I will link to you guys the tutorials page, as I do every episode, in the link below. So there we go, I can get myself 64 polished andesite. So that's the simple stuff, let's go into a bit more intermediate stuff. So this here is a diamond sword with a little bit of durability taken off. And now all I did was add a number on the end and that number on the end specifies how many times the particular weapon has been used. Cool. Now this one here has a custom name, Amazing Sword. Now we're doing this with a display name NBT tag. We've come across those in the summon command before but it didn't really go into much detail before. Now NBT tags come after the two numbers that you add. Now as you can see there is a very strict syntax that you must contain. For every curly bracket you open there has to be one that you close and same with the quotes. Now the quotes you can just write anything you want in there, it doesn't matter, in this case I've written Amazing Sword, but yes, you need to make sure your capitalization of the word display and name is correct and that you have a colon after each word. So I know that's a bit complicated, but um, that is the way that Mojang wants you to do it, and so that's the way we're going to do it with. Now this sword is enchanted. So as you can see, I have an NBT tag, but this one has square brackets in the middle, which makes it even more confusing, and, and that's really annoying. And as you can see, you include your enchantment ID, which is unfortunately numerical. If you want to have multiple enchantments, then you can string the NBT tags, the inside curly brackets, in the middle with a comma, and it must be written exactly as I've shown on the screen, otherwise it will not work. You need to keep that in mind that everything is case sensitive, everything is really, really sensitive, so everything must be exact. I'm going to link all these commands down in the description, by the way. And then lastly, which you guys were requesting a lot, is how do I summon custom mobs or give pet players spawn eggs or custom spawn eggs? So this one just summons a creeper. Now, as you can see, I'm not using the damage value, which would be true in 1.8, but in 1.9, I have to do an entity tag and then I have to set the ID of the mob. In this case, it's creeper, and that's why we can summon creepers. Now, if I wanted to summon a creeper with a fuse of zero, then all I have to do is string another tag there on the end. So this one's got a fuse of zero, so I can place down explosives immediately. So that's my little introduction to the give command. If you guys need help with the give command at all, then I have put a very good resource in the description uh, called MC Stacker, which basically gives you a GUI interface which allows you to customize the command as you want and then you can just copy and paste the command into a command block and it's all well and good, saves you hours and hours of time and frustration balancing uh, brackets. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. If you've got any questions, any queries, please leave them in the comments below. But for now, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.